Hi, my name is Misha Deroshan. Welcome to another Minute with Misha. Today's question comes from Jake. Thank you very much, Jake, for your, not only your question, but also your participation. I'm thinking about getting a second car. I'll be buying used and just wondering what I should be looking for uh, and checking on when I buy a used vehicle. Jake, that's a great question. Uh, one that we're asked a lot in the dealership here. We sell uh, quite a few used vehicles. Currently we have over 75 vehicles, as you can see behind me here, quite a few used ones. Uh, so we're getting asked a lot what people should be checking for. A couple of major points I'm going to touch on today. Um, the first one is title. Now, if you're purchasing from a dealership like us, the vehicle will always be registered in our name. That's just by law. That's how it has to work. If, however, you are purchasing uh, a used vehicle privately, always ensure that the title and registration is in the owner's name that you're dealing with. Um, I've seen it countless times before. People walk up, get scammed, wasn't actually in the person's name. Second thing to check on is car proof, accidents on the vehicle. If there's uh, accidents over $3,000, worth doing a little bit of research in just to see uh, if there was structural or not, just to see what was going on with the vehicle. Accidents under $3,000, I personally wouldn't worry about it. Um, simple things like a bumper skin on this 2018 cruise uh, can be as much as $2,000. It's a bumper skin, it's really not gonna have much effect on the vehicle itself. Uh, lastly, uh, just for this video, there are lots of other things that you could be doing, but lastly, the big one that I would always recommend people doing is going on a test drive. Here at Township, that's one thing we offer every single person when they're walking in the dealership, whether they're buying new or used, take the vehicle out for a test drive. If it's a used vehicle, that'll at least allow you to take it on some rougher roads potentially, take it on some highway driving, just see if there's some rattles, things like that, that will absolutely educate you uh, in your decision making. So Jake, I hope that answered your question. Uh, there's lots more we could cover, but we wanted to keep it nice and short for you. Like I was saying guys, right now we have about 75 used vehicles in inventory. Love to see you down here. If you are in the market for a used vehicle, we've got lots of variety all the way down from around $5,000 and going up from there. We've got whatever you guys want. So I hope that answered your question, Jake. My name is Misha Deroshan. I'll see you next time on Minute with Misha.